Performance for the gods. Entertainment for the people. Traditional Chinese puppetry made its way to Singapore with the arrival of immigrants from China during the 19th and 20th centuries. To the Chinese, puppet theatre is not just another performing art. It is staged as a sacred performance to entertain the gods and to give thanks to the deities, to exorcise spirits and to bless devotees. With their nimble fingers, skilled puppeteers bring the inanimate puppets to life using strings, rods and stakes. Ancient tales are told through songs and narrations in local dialects, accompanied by traditional musical instruments such as clappers, drums, cymbals, gongs and a range of stringed instruments. Characters used to tell the stories are common across puppetry types, such as sheng, the male role, dan, the female role, and chou, the clown role. Today, only five traditional Chinese puppetry types survive in Singapore. They are Teochew Iron Stick Puppetry, Hinghua String Puppetry, Hokkien String Puppetry, Hokkien Glove Puppetry, and Hainanese Rod Puppetry. Introduced by Chinese immigrants from the Chaozhou region, Teochew puppets are controlled by slender iron stakes. Performers sit on the stage as they manipulate the puppets to reenact classical Chinese theatrical acts. Of all the Chinese puppetry types in Singapore, Teochew puppetry is most noted for its rich musical tradition. In a typical Teochew puppetry performance, it is not uncommon to see four or more musicians at work. Strings, instead of sticks, are used to manipulate puppets in the Henghua tradition. There is an average of 12 strings attached to each of the puppets, each controlling a different part of the puppet's body, its head, arms, and even its feet. Hinghua puppetry is usually staged at temples founded by the Hinghua Chinese when they arrived from Putian. Today, these temples continue to be the key patrons for Xin He Ping, the last surviving Hinghua puppet troupe in Singapore. The Hokkien Chinese brought with them two forms of puppetry when they emigrated from Fujian, string puppetry and glove puppetry. Like the Hinghua puppets, Hokkien string puppets have an average of 12 strings. Experienced puppeteers may even add up to 19 strings for certain puppets to allow for finer manipulation. Hokkien glove puppetry is also known as Bo Dehi, which literally means cloth bag theatre. As the name suggests, glove puppets are sewn with cloth and worn on the puppeteer's hands. The heads of the puppets are usually carved in wood and attached to the costumes. Hailing from Hainan Island, the Hainanese community introduced their form of puppetry to Singapore upon their arrival. Hainanese puppets are controlled and manipulated using sturdy wooden rods. A central rod supports the weight of the puppet's head and body, while thinner rods are used to move the arms. Although they were staged primarily for the deities, Chinese puppet theatres used to draw huge crowds in the past. As Singapore modernised and the use of Chinese dialects gradually diminished, few stop to watch the puppetry performances today. Faced with declining popularity, traditional Chinese puppet troops are quietly closing down. Teochew puppetry troupe Xin Sai Bao Feng is one such story. Established before the Second World War, 
Xin Sai Bao Feng performed its swan song and drew the curtains for the last time in 2015. <laughs> อ๋อดูจอหีจอกระจิซุนน่ะเรียกว่าใจไก่เสียวอะไรซอว่าดูอะไรซอแล้วอ่ะจอเนี่ยจึงบ่มีหนังไอ้ถอยเดียวตะไ
，万一这些东西又没有地方好放，那么有时候，他们有些也年年纪也大了，那刚好有的时候他们有些要退休的，讲我本来想放弃，然后我想想回，久久一次而已嘛，我认为不要这么辛苦，还是保留住，还是要有这样做。九岁那年，我已经对这些木有了一个感情。讲坦白的，我舍不得，也是舍不得这个山村了。如果说是有一天，或者真的没有地方好放，我也是真的舍不得。你叫我，或者是给人还是卖给人，我是真的舍不得。我已经抱住在手上。